Even as the future of Huawei phones continues to be mired in uncertainty, the company is hard at work on the next version of its EMUI software, based on the upcoming Android Q. This is the update we'll see hitting the Huawei P30 series later in the year, and first a little bit of background on that. Huawei has recently confirmed that even with its current blacklisting by the US government, it'll still be able to push out updates to Android Q to the P30 and a bunch of other phones, as well as ongoing security patches. The specifics of this are a bit unclear, but at least it's made that commitment, and we'll see how things pan out. Anyway, thanks to a recent firmware leak by Funky Huawei, we have our first look at the software that'll likely ship on the Mate 30 later in the year. It's very much pre-release, though remarkably stable for software that won't be shipping for another three or four months. So far, the visual changes in EMUI 10 aren't too overbearing. EMUI itself has a new logo for whatever that's worth, but the interface is broadly in line with what we remember from version 9.1 of the software. Maybe that'll change before the Mate 30 ships, who knows, we've still got a few months left before that happens. Some of the biggest visual changes so far are in the weather widgets, which now have a splash of colour compared to before, and this is also reflected in the new redesigned weather app. The quick settings drop down has also been tweaked with a new black gradient effect, which actually looks a little bit weird in certain circumstances. Huawei's signature gesture navigation is still there and works the same as before, which is actually the same as Google's new all gestural navigation system in vanilla Android Q, and the task switching animation is a bit snappier now with more fluid animation and pleasing physics. There are also some very minor colour and design tweaks to some of Huawei's built-in apps, which you'd expect from software that isn't quite final yet. And home screen wallpapers are overlaid with this zigzag pattern which we've seen in previous pre-release versions of Huawei software. Perhaps some kind of barcode built on this to track the build. Also, this particular build shows fake version information in the About page, which again is very common for pre-release versions of software on Huawei phones. It's done, ironically, to prevent things from leaking out. If we load up a system information app though, we can very clearly see that this is, in fact, Android Q. And because it is Android Q, we get our standard loadout of Android Q features. Check out our Android Q beta coverage for a more exhaustive list of what's new in the next version, but in brief, Android's permission and privacy management system has been overhauled, and you've got prompts for one-time or permanent access to sensitive information like your location. You can see this here in the new camera app, which is arguably the most visually changed of all the built-in Huawei apps in this early leaked build. Like I said, the new UMUI 10 camera app has mostly visual changes, with the biggest difference being the font and icon changes that move further away from the Leica style that we've seen for the past few generations of Huawei phones. Instead, this is much more in keeping with the rest of EMUI. The physics of scrolling between different camera modes seems smoother, as does the slightly redesigned zoom level switch over on the right-hand side. Though these new photo filter options, which are pretty neat but hardly revolutionary, they're more useful as an example here to show how the new UI looks and moves. As for the functionality of the app, that seems pretty much unchanged for now. No major new camera features that we can see at least. Instead, it's likely that we'll see whatever new camera features do emerge with the Mate 30 series later in the year. So that's it for our very first quick look at EMUI 10 and Android Q. Right now, it's a lot of the look and feel of EMUI 9, with a sprinkling of new features and, of course, extra features that you would expect from Android Q. Of course, still early days here, and there's ample opportunity for more exciting changes to take place between now and the expected September or October release timeframe, when this stuff should start arriving on devices. That's it for now. Be sure to subscribe for all of our future Huawei and Android Q coverage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.